let us pray father in jesus name heavenly father we thank you we give you glory we give you all honor and we give you all adoration because you are good to us we thank you for your love for your care we thank you for your provision and for your protection we said be thou exalted lord in jesus name above all lord we thank you over mtva missionary because you have been faithful you have been good to us because you have been so kind to us in every of our endeavor we said be thou exalted lord in jesus name oh lord as i'll be speaking your word as i'll be sharing your word i pray that you speak through me everlasting king of glory and may your name alone be glorified in jesus mighty and holy name i prayed amen praise the lord today i'll be talking about the word the spiritual lifestyle the word spiritual lifestyle is a combination of two words the spiritual the spirit then we have lifestyle so when we talk about lifestyle in general it's just a way of life really and when we are to talk about the spiritual aspect of it what do i call spiritual what do we refer to spiritual spiritual is a deep things of god so i define spiritual as thus is a way in which you relate with your god the way you relate with your god brings about the combination of the spiritual lifestyle like in Genesis, God said, let's make man in our own image. And this area has brings about understanding for us to know that we are also made of the spirit. So there are things of the spirit that we must have to conform with and obey with. Actually, like the words that says, without spiritual, there cannot be physical. You understand? And that means in everything you want to do, you must have to conform with the spiritual life in order for the manifestation of the physical. Like the word that says, without spiritual, there can never be physical manifestation. That means things are firstly done in the spirit before the manifestation of it physically for people to see. So actually, I define spiritual lifestyle does is a way of life that encourages you to live within yourself believing in God rather than looking outwards for manifestation of things God is the spiritual so how can you dedicate your life to God how can you live a standard spiritual lifestyle to live a standard spiritual lifestyle you must understand some basic concepts some basic things you need to do so that you'll be able to function maximally on spiritual lifestyle spirituality means to be simply born of god yes to be born of god so let's look to the book of John, John 1, 12 to 13. What did he say? But as many as receive him, to them gave the power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of god that means we have to be born of god so how can we be born of god what are the things we can do that we can be born of god number one we submit our life to christ and when we talk about this how can we live a spiritual lifestyle how can we live a spiritual lifestyle According to the word of God, to start with, I commence by love. Love is a very essential thing that covers all things. 
so we can live a spiritual lifestyle by law let's go to the word of god first john 4 verse 7 to 8 beloved let us love one another for love is of god and everyone that loveth is born of god and knowledge god he that loveth not knoweth not god for god is love god is love for god is love that means because you have you, you can love deeply because god is love now talking about god is love what can you be doing to show love to your god what can you be doing that your spiritual lifestyle can increase drastically geometrically i want to compare some two things together in this lesson because we have two type of father we have heavenly father which is our god and we have earthly father which is our biological father in the situation of earthly father you know as our father on head you can just say daddy maybe your daddy your, your father gave you something like yesterday and when you woke up in the morning you are like ah this that dad, my dad has done for me i appreciate it uh, daddy thank you for yesterday for what you buy for me then you go to your daddy again you ask daddy I, I, I'm, I'm hungry i want to eat he provides for your food daddy i need some new set of clothes your dad provides for your shelter i want to tell you to be candid when your earthly daddy is doing all these things for you you should learn how to appreciate him you go to him daddy thank you for yesterday i'm very grateful this will prompt him to do more this will prompt him to give you more even though when you don't need it he thinks ahead of you that no my son needs this thing my daughter needs this thing i will buy this thing it will help him it will help his career it will help his profession or things like that you understand i'm talking about the heavenly father not to talk about the lord your god our heavenly father an heavenly father is a god that number one you wake up in the morning you have to go on your knees and appreciate him for your life there are some people that will sleep and they will never wake up again and they will have nobody to questions for that because god gives and god takes anytime so when you woke up to this lovely life anytime thank you god first and foremost god i thank you for what you have done for me god i thank you for the grace given to me to be among living today god i thank you for the knowledge you gave to me to 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 to, to, to stand the trials of my life merely doing this because god god really honors when you praise him when you thank him when you acknowledge him God will do more exceedingly in your life. And when you are doing this, I'm telling you emphatically, the Spirit of God dwell inside of you. You are building yourself spiritually. You are increasing yourself spiritually. It's not just of things of this world. You don't focus on things of flesh. When you focus on things of the Spirit, you discover that things begin to work for you automatically. Even when you don't plan, things will work, this will just happen. When you are thinking, the manifestation is happening because you are strong in the chain of the spirit. Brethren, I want to tell you this that in every of our doings, let's acknowledge God for everything. He said in his word, likewise, in everything you do, take God first. When you want to eat, pray to your God. When you want to do anything at all, you want to engage on journey. Pray to your God. God is always there because He loves us and He loves us so much that even though we cannot tell the kind of love that He has for us in everything we are doing, either is good, either we are in a good mood or we are not in a good mood. Let's always acknowledge Him. Sometimes challenges of life will come, of which God is preparing us. Don't just don't 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 be wave. Don't let your faith be wave. Have faith in Him. 
because he never fails spiritual lifestyle he said in the book of matthew 7 7 he said we should ask it shall be given we should seek we should knock because he's ready to do everything for us according to our free will so why not having a personal relationship with your god today in order to build your spiritual lifestyle having a personal encounter with god is the most serious thing in this life because some people will think they can do things on their own physically not knowing without spiritual there is no physical manifestation when you see things that is happening to some people in a very easy way something is working for them in spirit god is there working for them in the spirit so you are just seeing the physical manifestation but when you are not a person of the spirit or when your degree is too low in the spirit you find it difficult to sustain this life everything seems hard for you everything seems hard in this life that we are living but when you understand the concept of god when you know how to go on constant devotion with him like when you woke up early in the morning you thank god for your night rest anything you want to do you make him first even though when danger or evil is coming he's already ahead of you to prevent them from happening to you brethren let's love god let's show love to the king of kings i will go again by this bible verse let's go to the book of mark mark 12 30 to 31 and what did he say and thou shalt love thy God and thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might and with all thy strength. This is this the first commandment. So it's not it's not a thing of choice. It's a commandment to every living soul that you have to love your God with everything you do. Think about him on a daily basis. Think about him in your mind. God has a lot to do with your mindset. What you think about. What you are planning in your mind. That, also, that, that is the greatest thing that God wants to concentrate on. I tell you. And 31 says, And he and the second is like, Namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is no other commandment greater than this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You know what it means by loving your neighbor as thyself? Before you want to do anything at all, put yourself in that shoe. Maybe you want to do something to your neighbor. You imagine it within your heart. If someone should do this thing to me, will I be happy about it? If someone should do this thing to me, will I appreciate it? If someone should do this thing to me, will I be able to take it? Then when you think this thing you are about to do is a thing that you can take at your own end, then you can do along to your neighbor. He said, ask yourself. You love your neighbor the way, exactly the way you love yourself and nothing more than this. So love is very essential in our spiritual lifestyle. We, can, we cannot claim we are building a spiritual lifestyle and we don't love. Okay, like for example, let me take this for example. Maybe you just meet someone now and because you are thinking you don't want to help him or for one reason or the other, you don't want to help. Only God knows tomorrow. We can only tell what we witness today, but tomorrow is of God. And he has let us know that don't let us, don't even try that. We want to care about tomorrow. In as much you are constantly in God, tomorrow we care for himself. Do you understand this? So when you see someone you are likely to help and you are doubting of helping him, you are missing it in, in many areas. When you are spiritually filled, God will teach you the right things to do. Because some people you are helping today, they might be the person to bring you out of trouble tomorrow. But when you refuse to help them today, they may not even get to that place that they will be able to be of help to you tomorrow. And if possibly... They get to that place of being of help for you tomorrow they may decide not to help you because they were like when they needed your help most in life you refuse to help them brethren 
I'm saying this thing again. Let us love. This will help our spiritual lifestyle so much. Let us love God with all our heart, with all our might, according to the word of God. Let us please him. Let us go to his commandment. He says in his commandment in Exodus 20, let's go, let's read it. Let's try to keep by all these rules and regulations. And this Mark 12, 30 to 31, he now makes it, he, he makes it very simple for us. He makes the commandments to become two. Loving your God with all thy mind, thy heart, thy everything. Love your God. And he said the second one, like it, is just that you love your neighbor as thyself. I'm telling you, it's a very greater formula. If you can love your God with all your heart, you never want to do something that God tells you not to do. And if you can love your neighbor as thyself, you never want to do anything to affect your neighbor negatively. And once you can go by these two concepts I've just made mention, I tell you, you will be able to maintain and to sustain your spiritual lifestyle. I still have many points ahead of this, but I just want us to be going through this thing under gradual process, of which this is the episode one of this spiritual lifestyle. Let's learn to form a standard relationship with God. At our own end, let's learn to communicate with God. Let's learn to know Him the more. Simply, if you want to know God the more, you can pray on your own. God, show me yourself. I want to know you the more. I'm telling you, it's a very direct formula and it's very automatic. Once you love your God and you know your God, automatically love deposited in you. You have access to love. Because he said in his word that God is love. Thank for listening. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all adoration once again. For this word that we have heard. We thank you that you interpret it better and the more to our hearing in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for every heart and every ear that is listening and every eyes that is watching at this present moment. I pray that you show and manifest yourself to them in a more way that they are going to understand you the more in Jesus' mighty name. I pray also our Heavenly Father for M3A missionary. Uphold and declare yourself. Declare yourself marvelously in this ministry in the mighty name of jesus at the end of our races let's always have the fullest cause to glorify your only name for in jesus mighty and holy name i prayed amen and amen amen thank you follow us on our page on youtube at m3a missionary and may God continually bless you abundantly as you do so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.